what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to talk about a couple things the primary thing we're going to talk about is how i think the creeper is going to escape taggart's barn and whether or not that should be shown or not i think i've done a video talking about that in the past i just want to do a refresher on that just because now we're actually getting a fourth film that could be showing us that i also am going to talk about some other things that i've seen from behind the scenes from this film and before i hop into that i just want to talk about some new extras that i found for the film doing my digging my sleuthing finding things i probably shouldn't find but you know when they get posted i can't help but find them they're they're, they're out there for me to find <laughs> so uh, one of the people who could be starring in the film and these are just extras i don't think they're gonna have any any importance i'm just throwing that out there i just want i just know you guys are all excited about it those of you who are fans of the creeper anyway one of the extras who could be in this film is an actress named lisa ann rossi or rosie maybe it's rossi rossi or rossi lisa ann rossi she has a history of just being extras in films and then what i found to back this up was a resume of hers posted online that mentions a horror film coming out this year that's well known so what it says is uh her acting experience here at the bottom underneath where it says accents u.s language featured twice filming for eight days in a well-known horror film uh that will be out in 2021 so and again if you want like actual solid proof of this uh you're gonna have to go to instagram to find that but like i said before you could google her google i'll actually leave a link to the website that i found this on in the description because this is all the this is why i think she's going to be in jeepers creepers reborn i think she's going to be in it the other actress is karina kiss who i saw on instagram again added this is an image on instagram showing both of them together dressed in costume at a horror convention and it's at the same area where they're shooting Jeepers Creepers 4. It's at the same area. I am not lying. The, these two ladies look like they're going to be extras in the film. Whether or not they make it to the final cut, who knows. But they were filming for Jeepers Creepers 4. That I know to be certain based off of the surroundings they're in and based off of that description that is listed here for the fact that it's a well-known film that uh, Lisa's supposed to be starring in. The other thing that we are going to hop on into is the Creeper and how he's going to escape Taggart's barn. Assuming that is a thing in this film now again we don't know if that's actually the case i know i shared that video the few days ago with that synopsis that i found on the production list site talking about a couple that stumble onto a farmhouse of sorts after they get run off the road by a assailant who we of course can assume is the creeper in his truck they turn around and double back and they stumble on this farmhouse where there's apparently some horrific things inside and since they've seen them they're never going to be seen or heard from again after the fact so prior to that i think how the film is going to start off actually before i even jump into that i have to disclose this so so a few other things that i saw that unfortunately i cannot show here what i ended up finding from this film was some behind the scenes things there's a few featurettes that they have planned there's also going to be an interview coming out with director timo uh there's also been an interview that's been conducted with the lead actress who i who again i believe is sydney craven and just during these interviews they had like these face castings or these moldings of what looked like the creeper one of them has his cocoon over him the other one is his face opening now the face opening one does look like jonathan breck i believe jonathan breck will be back as the creeper there's more things pointing toward him returning at this point than not returning but that doesn't mean he's going to be back it's still if he's not back still give the new creeper a shot but i think breck is back but again there are some face castings in this behind the scenes stuff i saw where the creeper had his cocoon over him why have that if you're not going to show something that's picking up from the end of the second movie or just going to utilize something that's going to tell us we're in the year 2024 or again just utilize something to tell us hey we're going to open up in the barn so what i want to say from there about this barn thing i don't think we necessarily need to see how he gets down i think how he, but just to throw it out there how i think he gets down uh taggart shoots the harpoon misses of course and then bam go from there taggart shoots the harpoon maybe jack jr is inside and he comes out finds his father uh screaming and yelling 
and like just with fear and terror and anger because he look up at the wall now the thing's gone or it's just an empty husk the creepers somehow shedded his skin or his former carcass let's say that's one of his abilities now uh or something we didn't know of course because we don't know how he comes back he looked like skin and bones at the end of the of the second part so it's definitely something interesting how he's going to return to his full full strength uh, so that's how he would escape but we don't need to see that what i think the film should do when it opens if this is how it opens this is how i would open it ray wise hopefully he's back tagger is sitting still in that chair bat out of hell sign we still have this creeper hanging beneath that bat out of hell sign hopefully we do not see cgi wings because those wings at the end of part two were not cgi uh and then taggart's looking at him it's just silence silence no 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 real soundtrack at the moment just silence and then taggart's looking at him and then he starts to doze off while he's dozing off the camera flashes over to the creeper who is still again lifeless we zoom in on him and then fade to black like that while it's zooming in on him and then we flash forward a few days later we meet this old couple assuming this is still a thing that they use because again that thing from production list might not even make it into the film we flash forward to this old couple who are driving home from church they get stalked by the creeper and they find him returning to this farmhouse which we learn is of course the taggart farm he has the taggarts or taggart senior anyway in their captive he has not killed him this is his way of getting back at taggart for having him up on that wall for 23 years making a profit off of him uh he's gonna leave him there to basically die of starvation and thirst that is how i think the film should open we don't need to see how he actually got off the barn wall doing all that that's opening the door for a lot of things for people that question just let us question it you're opening the door for a lot of things that might not come off well on screen as well such as how did he get his wings back because again he doesn't have wings anymore by the end of the second film they got ripped off from him that's another thing that's interesting about this fourth movie how are they going to explain his wings being back assuming he has wings you know there's so many things that should be left untampered with because it might come off cheesy on screen that's just my opinion especially if you're going to use utilize a lot of cgi for the wings that's just how i think he's going to get off the barn i don't think we'll see it though i don't think we should see it i think it should be exactly how i proposed it earlier in the video uh let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future also i think there's a huge cast announcement either coming tomorrow that's just my feeling tomorrow or next week hopefully but with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video